I've been bad to you. I'm sorry for hurting you. Eight girls in one month. Just found out that Colt has been sending nudes to other women. At this point, the only thing I could do is come clean and be honest with her and tell her the truth. Mm -hmm. By everything that's happened, there's something else I need to come clean about. And that something else is going to be the tipping point that brings Jess to tears. This is too much for me because I always love it. Cool. Oh, Jess. Hey 90 Day Fans fam, it's Melicia. On the latest episode of Happily Ever After, what was done in the dark came to the light. Eu fui na imigração ontem. You went to immigration? What? Yep. And while Karini told Paul the truth, it seems like Colt, he's still struggling in the honesty department. Look, you lie all the time. Stop. You just you believe in your lie. Just you because you repeat you say, you, you forget you lie before. Cold, you have problems. You need a doctor. Yeah. She went there. Look, after watching this episode, I am convinced. I'm convinced that Colt either makes decisions for a storyline or he just likes to see girls go crazy over him. She's very angry. I feel like she's a little firecracker that could go off any second. Hmm. All right, let me go ahead and give you a rundown of Colt and Jess's first day together in Vegas from start to end. Okay, once Jess landed, Colt prepared to leave his house. But before he did, he stopped to talk to a person who is now staying with him. A person who Jess despises. Have you told her about me yet? Of course he hasn't, Vanessa. Colt's bright idea is to tell her once she gets to his house. Hmm. He also has something else he plans on telling her. I have to confess that I've been talking to other women while we were broken up. At the time, I thought Jess and I were done. I just hope she doesn't break up with me as soon as she hears it. Who knows, maybe Jess and I can work things through. And I'm really hoping I just see her and there's that moment. It's like you see each other and you don't care what happened between you or it's just like, oh, I remember all the good things. I highly doubt that's gonna happen. All right, Vanessa, I appreciate your honesty. Well, Colt left the house and met up with Jess at a cat cafe because they both love cats. But the kitties didn't distract them from their issues for too long. Little did Colt know Jess came to Vegas already aware of these other women, and she had receipts. What exactly is bothering you right now? How's your You sent picture today? What are you talking about? Stop. Listen. In two weeks, you sent for eight girls. I have a screenshot for eight girls. <laughs> you know, send pictures for girls and videos. Good morning, my d How are you, my d Good night. Oh, I forget my d This is crazy. Cole didn't have much to say after Jess outed him, but he did reveal to the producers that he was embarrassed. I just started talking about the other women online that I have been talking to and mentioning d pictures. I. I don't know. I, I was mortified, honestly. While I was talking to these women online, I sent them pics. I'm ashamed of myself. Oh, Colt. At this point, Colt decided to take Jess back to his house because he didn't want to get yelled at at the cat cafe. I feel embarrassed by the whole thing, but she also had her own responsibilities. She blocked me. Whenever she wanted to, she'd unblock me. She was on and off again. I, I felt like I wasn't even part of a relationship most of the time. Well, once they got to Colt's house, the conversation continued. He eventually apologized for hurting Jess, but then he dropped this bomb on her. I haven't been a very good boyfriend. There's something else I need to come clean about. So Vanessa moved in a few weeks ago. What? She moved in not very long ago. She needed a place to stay. She's in the third bedroom. No. 
I could feel Jess's blood boiling through the screen. What an uncomfortable and unfair situation to be put in by someone who says they care about you. I'm not sure if we're gonna see Vanessa and Jess interact at all next week. Because honestly, if I was ever in that position, which I highly doubt would ever be the case, I would leave Colt's house immediately. Yeah. But hey, Jess is Jess and not Malicia. So what she's gonna do, I'm not sure. As of right now, it's all up in the air. Eu gostaria de saber sobre as leis daqui, sabe? Por exemplo, viajar sozinha, só eu e bebê. Our final must-see moment goes to Karini, who has taken matters into her own hands. She admits that she's desperate. She's not adjusting well in the U.S. She's tired of fighting with Paul, and he still hasn't found a job. So now. She's decided to meet with an immigration attorney to see how she can get home to Brazil. Do you have your documents with you, like your passport or anything? Sim, eu tenho meu passaporte e meus documentos. May I see them? Oh, okay. Karini came prepared. And the immigration attorney revealed that based off of her status, she has the right to come and go into the US. But the attorney also let her know that this isn't a cut and dry situation and there could be negative consequences. It would be wrong just to assume that this could happen without any resistance. Paul has just as many rights as she does. He could show up to the airport and try to stop everything or attempt to take charges out. He could try to put her in family court proceedings. I just don't know what he would do. Uh, my advice to you, just take your child on good terms. You have to realize what you're dealing with is not easy. Before having a knee-jerk reaction that will affect your child's life, take some time. Karini took the attorney's advice. And when Paul arrived back at the house later on, she told him how she spent her day. And of course he got upset. I talked to the lawyer. Did you go to immigration attorney? First of all, how did you get there? I ordered Uber by myself. She said that I have the right to travel with Pierre alone. Do what? So you want to take the baby and just leave? Just leave me here? Is that it? I will prosecute. In Brazil and America, you can't keep the child from me. I can go to Brazilian courts. Eu só quero voltar para casa, só isso. I can go to Brazilian court. This is very real. Their argument ended with Karini breaking down in tears and Paul attempting to console her. Come here, come here. On next week's episode, I guess he tries to make things right by taking his wife to a sanitation plant in the rain. What are we doing here? We're going to see, uh, it's, a, it's a poop water facility to show you some of the uh, things I gave in America. That was offensive, Paul. All I could think about is Pierre's adorable face. I just really want them to get it together for him. All right, 90 Day Fans fam, make sure you stick with ET because we are covering it all. I'll see you next time.